Hey everyone, this is The Welcome Mat. Today, I want to give you 10 reasons why you should consider playing board and card games. Maybe you like video games, or maybe you've just never taken the plunge and, and seen the world that's out there of board and card games. So here are 10 reasons why I think you should get involved. Not in any particular order, but here's some 10 reasons. Number 10, board and card games give you the opportunity to get off your digital devices. We live in a world where it is very easy to get consumed with Facebook, Twitter, text messages, emails, etc. And even at your jobs, you may spend hours on computer devices. Board games, card games give you the opportunity to rest your eyes and just be there physically with people in the flesh. Now conversely, if you're on the go, there are applications, there are websites that allow you to play board games. Sometimes you can buy them um, at a cheaper price than the physical copy, or you can try them on the website and then get uh, for free in some cases, and then later purchase the physical copy. Um, so conversely, they allow you to get off of the screen time, but if that's all you have, that's available too. So that's my number 10. Number nine would be board games, card games are economically cheap. You can find board and card games for as low as $5 to $100 with all kinds of different ranges of types of games available now. Consider this as well. If you were to go to the, to the movies or to go uh, to a restaurant for a date night or with a bunch of friends, the expenses for that can pile up really quickly. You can buy popcorn and chips and drinks at the movies. You can go to a restaurant and easily your bill is anywhere from $50 to $100 for all these things. Whereas if you were to hang out with some friends or go on a date and buy a board game and then maybe bring a little picnic or something, you have the opportunity not only to spend good quality time with that person, but do it in a more economically viable fashion. Um, and that's a great thing. This leads into my eighth reason you should play board and card games, which is portability. You can take board games and card games all over the place. You can take them on the plane, you can take them on the train or the subway, you can take them to the restaurant, to the coffee shop, you can take them over to friends' houses, you can take them anywhere. Some board games are bigger and may not be as portable, but some are small. There are even some that will fit in your pocket, and you can take that with you wherever you go and bust it out and play it, even with a stranger sitting next to you for the long ride. My seventh reason would be variety. Long gone are the days of Monopoly and Candyland and Scrabble being the only, and Clue and all these other games being the only viable options for board gaming and card gaming. There are literally thousands upon thousands of board and card games available now. Some of them are frankly rubbish, but many, many of them are quality games, good games, with different themes, all kinds of themes related to movies and books and just fantasy worlds and, uh, you know, dragons and pirates and, you know, you name it, there's probably a game that has that theme. Um, and there's different genres too. There's games where you place workers and they do certain actions for you. There's games where you roll dice and there's a lot of luck involved. Uh, there's games where you place tiles down in certain ways. There are all kinds of different genres and mechanics in games now. Um, some that are very luck heavy and some that are very strategic and tactical. My number six reason is that board and card games are good for mental health and physical health. Uh, psychologically, the benefits of enjoying community around other people, inducing in certain games laughter, or in certain games just really pushing your brain to the limit, just thinking turns ahead of how you're going to outsmart your opponent, this is good for you. Studies have shown that it improves things like dementia and can be preventative towards Alzheimer's and other things. Just exercising your brain, um, just like you exercise the other muscles of your body to to maintain their via vitality. Number five would be because board and card games are flexible for different environments. And what I mean here is, for example, things like uh, 
whether you are at a school and you're teaching people, whether you're at a youth group, whether you're at a large gathering at a board game shop or you're at a friend's house, uh, board games can be flexible for very different environments. Many people play them during their lunch breaks with coworkers, for example. Um, or if you're, you know, having a bunch of refugees over to a nonprofit place or uh, involved with a church event or whatever it may be, board games and card games fit all these different environments, and and they're very good in that manner. Number four would be educational. Board games can teach you skills. Uh, they can teach children and younger people in particular uh, coding skills and deductive skills and all kinds of things. And this is something as people we're always growing and learning in, or hopefully so. They can teach you history. There's so many board games that teach you about different wars or different aspects of history related to um, different things that have happened. Uh, they can teach you about morality and issues in life and ultimately uh, give you an opportunity to do unto others as you would have them do unto you in the way you interact with them while you're playing the games, the ways that you can serve them if games come up and you decide, you know, I'd rather play the game that you want to play than the game that I want to play. Board games and card games provide that opportunity to love other people in those kind of ways. My third reason is that board games and card games can cross barriers. Barriers of age, you can have games that go as young as like three years old to, you know, as old as a person can be before they die. Uh, there really are that many different kinds of games and there are games that you could have an eight-year-old playing with an 80-year-old and they're both have an equal chance of winning. Um, they cross barriers of ethnicity regardless of your whatever color your skin. There are board games that cross language barriers that rely on images or icons to help you understand like how to play it and they may not necessarily rely on language although there are many that do and they can provide an opportunity for you to learn new languages by playing games in a different language. They cross barriers of economic status. They cross barriers of religion. You don't have to all have the same belief system to get together and play a board game or card game and have a fun time. My number two reason would be because as this has been alluded to already, they're sociable. Board games and card games provide you a great opportunity to get to know people, to be inclusive in the sense of it doesn't matter uh, what your belief system is, we can be civil with one another, but not just civil, but even become friends with one another. It gives you opportunities to bond, whether it's the family or a friend group or people who don't know each other. There are so many different board and card games out there that allow you those opportunities to bond and get to know one another. And finally, my number one reason is because board games are fun. Card games are fun. And life is heavy. We aren't meant to just live our lives always having to deal with the bills and with the burden of just the heaviness of life in general, the things that can happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Board and card games give you a break from that. They give you the opportunity to just enjoy other people and enjoy gaming and enjoy life. And that is a good thing. So there you have it. There's my 10 reasons why you should get involved in board and card games. Are there anything, any reasons that I missed? Feel free to comment below and give me your thoughts on that. I hope this list has been informative to you and has spurred some creative thought. Um, Thanks so much for watching. This has been The Welcome Mat. Go out there and enjoy some games with people in a wholesome, good way. Have a great one. Bye-bye.